Hey guys, in this video we're going to quickly talk about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions basically means the same as equal fractions. Say, for example, down here I've got these three diagrams. We've got one on two, two on four, and four on eight. If we look at this diagrammatically, looking at these diagrams, we've got a half shaded. If we go on to the next one, again, we've got a half shaded. And then we look at the third one, we've got a half shaded. We've got four parts shaded, but it makes up one half. So we can say that one on two is the same or equivalent to two on four, and then two on four is the same as four on eight. So one on two, can equal 2 on 4, which can equal 4 on 8, or 1 on 2 is the same as 4 on 8, because the same amount of area is shaded. doesn't matter how many parts are broken down into, the same amount of area is shaded. So they are equal fractions, even if they have different numerators and different denominators. So all these numerators are different, and all these denominators are different, but they are still the same, and they're, and they're known as equivalent fractions. Let's look at some examples. Say if we had 3 on 4, and we had something like this, and we're asked to fill the missing part, to get to 20, what do you have to do? The only way to get 20 is 4 by more. The only way to get to 20 is by multiplying 4 by 5. Because 4 fives is 20. So this gives us this part. And with equivalent fractions, remember that whatever you do to the bottom or the top, you ha also have to do to the other half. So if we multiply the 4 by 5, we also have to multiply 3 by 5. 3 times 5 will give us the answer for here. 3 fives are 15. So our equivalent fraction is 15 on 20. This right here is exactly the same as 3 on 4. Let's take a look at another example. Say if we had 30 on 50. And we were asked to find the equivalent fraction and we had 5 here. This, this time we're going the opposite way. This time what we need to do is go smaller. How do you get from 50 to 5? And the only way, the only logical explanation is that 50 was divided by 10 because 10 fives are 50. So if we divide 50 by 10, what we get is 5. And remember, whatever we do to the bottom, we also have to do to the top. In equivalent fractions, this is a must. 30 divided by 10 is 3. Therefore, 3 on 5 is our equivalent fraction of 30 on 50. Let's take a look at one last example. And say if we had 17 on 25. And, and we're asked what is the equivalent fraction of 70 on 25. What we can do is we can straight away see that because over here it equals a larger number, obviously it must have been multiplied by something. What do you have to multiply 25 by to get to 100? And obviously, 4 times 25 is equal to 100. So whatever we do to the bottom, we also have to do it to the top. We multiplied the bottom by 4, so we have to multiply the top by 4. And that would equal 68. Okay, simple as that. The main things to remember is 
equivalent fractions means equal fractions. So for example, this half is the same as this half. So even though they've got two parts and we've got only one part here, they are still the same. They're equal. The way to remember for equivalent fractions is EQ equals, okay? Equivalent equals. And then again here, four parts, but still the same. So that's what equivalent fraction means. And the other important thing to note is that whatever, and this is this is a must, whatever you do to the top, you also have to do the bottom, or whatever you do to the bottom, you also have to do the top. And this is what we did in each of these cases to get equivalent fractions. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Any questions, leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching.